What's up, everybody? Lockout Men right here, coming back at you with another podcast for today. I hope you guys having a beautiful, blessed day. You know what I'm saying? This topic right here is, is I, I think it's about profiling. Now, I'm not sure whether it's racial or anything like that, but the, but the, but the title of it says cop follows two black men around Illinois Walmart for allegedly wearing surgical mask and ask them for ID. I don't make this stuff up. Y'all I don't, uh, you, you, when I put it in the title, <laughs> I don't make it up. This, this is the title <laughs> cop follows two black men around Illinois Walmart for allegedly wearing surgical masks and ask them for ID. Let's get into it. What's going on guys? Lockout men in the building. What's up? How y'all feeling today? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a round of applause for me. I like that. Yo, what's going on with you guys today, man? How y'all feeling out there? Well, before we get started, I would like to say my name is Lockout Men, and I am your humble host of Lockout Men Podcast. If any of you guys like to come on and join me for a conversation, yo, hit me up in the Gmail. That's Lockout Men Podcast at gmail.com. Com. Or you can hit me up in the DM over in Instagram at Lockout Man. Or you can just leave a comment and I could I could pick it up from there. You know what I'm saying? I could pick it up from there. Well, today's topic, man, uh is it's it's about the outbreak. It's about the outbreak. You know what I'm saying? This virus that's going on, this this silent, silent but deadly virus that's going on right now that got everybody on lockdown. So are you on lockdown? I mean, if you are, cool. How how is this affecting you guys? We're going into a we're going into a full thirty days now. You know what I'm saying? We got we got people that's out of work because of this situation right now. We got a lot of people that lost their jobs because of this situation right now. Are they able to bounce back? Or is the economy, after all said and done, is the economy economy is able to bounce back? Will we be able to get back to normalcy out here? And if we do get back to normalcy, will you continue to do, um, will you continue to do the safe precautions that you're doing now that social distancing is in full effect? You know what I'm saying? We got to stay away for like, what, six feet, something like that. Wear gloves, wash your hands, all that good stuff. But when when, when it's all said and done, are y'all going to continue the social distancing? Are y'all going to congregate again? How you guys going to feel about congregating again? Can't wait to get out and enjoy the sun and congregate amongst ourselves. Let's... uh. Let's hope for the best, y'all. But let's get into this topic, man. This was brought to me in my comment session by one of my subscribers. And they said, hey, these uh, two black men was walking around Walmart with surgical masks on. And for some odd reason, the security guy or uh, security guy, guard or cop told them to leave and asked them for ID. Now, I walked in. I, I I was in a Walmart. I forgot where I was at. I think it was in Indiana, I believe. I was in a Walmart, and basically, um, I was uh like doing Walmart interviews or something like that. I had a at that time I was cool with uh with a certain person that was on the line with me, and we was you know we was asking. I think the question was the question of the day was, would you would you be willing to date a truck driver? Yeah, that, that, uh, I was asking females that question, but on my way out of Walmart, I noticed in my peripheral that I was being followed. And I was like, Hmm, I, I seen the guy in my peripheral and I, I didn't say nothing at the time, but I, I didn't notice that I was being followed. Now he was, he didn't have on, you know, he didn't have on, you know, a cop or 
guard uniform. He was, I think he was like uh, one of them undercover, undercover Walmart security guards or something like that. But when I noticed him, I called him out. I was like, yo, bro, I see you over in the cut. And he was like, yeah, I know you see me. And I was like, you know, why you, you know, in the back of my head, I was like, why are you following me? But after all said and done, I said to myself that he was probably following me because I was asking a lot of questions to, you know, to a lot of, to a lot of the customers. And maybe that was like, maybe that was cause for suspicion, I guess. I don't know. But right here in the article from the Atlanta Black Star, it says here that two black men claimed that they was kicked out of an Illinois Walmart after they entered the store wearing surgical masks. A video uh, posted by, I mean, posted on YouTube by Best and his friend Jackson walked through a river, a Wood River, Illinois Walmart as a white police officer trailed them. Now, now, of course, you know, they coming in with surgical mask on. And at this time, the police chief of the, you know, the police chief of the Wood River Police says that this incident took place before stuff got crazy. So he felt that his officer was was in the right for suspecting these two black men that's wearing surgical mask of doing something. But, but let me ask you guys this question. If they was white, would he have done that to them? I'm just asking the question. That's all. Let's go to the YouTube video for the report. Hey, so we were in Walmart and what's this, Wood River? And Wood River, Illinois. This officer right here behind us just told, just followed us in the store. You just video. He said that he said we can't video, but he just told us we're on body cam. He just followed us from outside, told us that we cannot wear masks. There's a presidential order. There is a state order. And he's just and he's following us right now of the store. We're being asked to leave for being safe. Now, again, this situation happened March 18th um, to my understanding where let's see here uh, it says here that the cop says or that the police chief says that the incident happened before it was common for people to walk around in masks. He told the outlet the unidentified officer was mistaken when it came to the store's policy or uh, to the store's policy policies prohibiting masks. Wells insists that the video wasn't an accurate representation of the confrontation. I, I tend to agree with him because I was at, when I watched the video and I was, you know, I, I was, I was agreeing with the, I, I was, I was on the side of the, of the guy, of the two guys, you know, they came in wearing masks. You can't, you, there's more to the story. This like, this like this man says, what was the, what was said before the camera came on? Because these guys turned the camera on right when the officer started to follow them and what, or for, for them to ask them to leave. You know, so this is way before the outbreak became serious and everybody has to wear a mask and everybody got to stay six feet away and all like that. Maybe these two guys came in just to be on the safe side. Maybe they did it for a YouTube prank like everybody else is doing it. We don't know. But as I continue the video, it kind of put things in a little bit more perspective. And this is what we're doing right now. Oh, this is going, I'm going to upload this as soon as we leave the store. This is the officer following us. Now, did you catch that? Did you catch that? Let me, let me rewind that to see if you guys caught that. 
it's going I'm gonna upload hold on a little bit more here we go and this is what we're doing right now oh this one I'm gonna upload this as soon as we leave the store yep this is going viral so what do you guys think now do you guys think that that well he says it's gonna go viral he's gonna upload it as soon as he leaves the store so let's continue this is the officer following us out of the store I did that. for absolutely no reason. If anybody knows, anybody's watching, the coronavirus is real. This and guy is following us. Too. There's more people, but he we he followed we're, us we're leaving from outside. So. From outside, he followed us all the way in the freaking store just to follow us out of the store. That's, That's him. We're wearing masks. There he is. We're getting kicked out of Walmart for wearing masks. Are you serious? Yes. Hey, so coronavirus is this real. This police officer just put us out for wearing masks and trying to stay safe. Hell no. Fucking piece of shit. Yeah. Now, see, right there. Right there, okay? Right there is where I changed my tune. I, I changed my opinion. Okay, so... If that was the case, if that was the case, I don't think I, I, maybe the officer was misinformed, misunderstood, or whatever the case, all right? But him calling the officer out of his name was wrong, was wrong. And then it just got me to thinking that bruh is just, is just doing this video just for it to go viral. You know what I'm saying? Just for it to go viral. Now, if if that was somebody else, I would think they would probably ask the officer, like, yo, why are you following me? You know, I got you on video. Why are you following me? Is or or just ask them what is the case. But they kept saying that we get that we're getting kicked out because we're wearing a mask and trying to be and trying to be safe. But like I said before, this is this is all done before the craziness is happening as of right now. Now, as well said, he's it's not much that he could say, but he do back the officer by uh, by what he's telling me, just like everything else, there is always more to the story. Wells believed that the men unfairly assumed that the officer was being racist. Uh, now, I now when I saw the video, I thought it was racial profiling myself. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was racial profiling. But then after watching watching the video through all the way up until the part where he called the man out of his name, Kind of got me to thinking different. Maybe the officer thought they was on some chase, on some shiesty stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because of course, again, it happened before the be, before everything turned crazy, and you know, all like that. And by the way, his friend Jackson wasn't wearing the mask throughout the entire video. All right. Only the dude that was recording, that was best. Only he was the one that was recording and he had a mask on. His friend, on the other hand, didn't have a mask on. So kind of something is something is amiss there. I mean, I'll link the I'll link the story in the uh in the uh in the uh, description below so you guys could go and watch the video and and have your assessment of the video the officer though the officer and you can also hear the officer in the background he never did say you know for them to leave you know he did not say for them to leave he didn't say that they was kicking them out the the two guys like like the like the police chief said, he assumed that they was kicking him uh that they was getting kicked out. Maybe they wasn't getting kicked out. You know, maybe like I said, the officers saw what may have been suspicious and 
probably tell them around until, you know, if they came in to buy something, that's all well and fine. But by the looks of it, they didn't. But again, what do you guys think? You guys think they was just doing this for views? They doing it for YouTube? I mean, he already said that he was going to upload it for it to go viral. It got 47,000 views on it so far. Just saying. Uh, he also continues to say, I don't know this guy personally. He said, we just want to shine some light on this because it happens so often. This is, uh, this is what best says. He says, I never said the guy was racist at all. All I'm saying is that his actions were suspect. Okay. So if you felt his actions were sus suspect, Maybe the officer felt that your actions were suspect. Have you thought about that? Have you thought about that? Best and Jackson highlighted how dealing with law enforcement are risky for black men. Dealing with law enforcement is risky for everybody. More so, more so to the black man. I, I, I'll agree with that. I'll agree with that. You know, he says being a young black African-American male, it's kind of hard when you interact with the police because you don't know what state of mind they are in. So, it says at the end of this article, it is unclear if the officer will experience any disciplinary actions, but Wells is open to an investigation into the encounter if Bess and Jackson filed a complaint, which I don't think is going to happen. I just think that these two guys came out, uh, came out to maybe get a rise out of somebody so they can get the video and upload it. That's, that's just my opinion. All right. It's my, my humble opinion, my humble commentary and all like that. I don't know that I don't know the back back story because they turned the they turned the camera on right when the situation where they was walking out and you know they was talking about what they was doing. But the officer did back off when uh another customer came and probably asked him what was going on or whatever the case may be. So what do you guys think, man? What do you guys think of this situation right here? Like I said, this 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 virus that's going on got everybody messed up, man. I mean, it got everybody losing their minds. And it's just so much stuff about this virus that we don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I, I just hope and pray, as I always do, I just hope and pray things would get back to normal that we can have some type of normalcy. You know what I'm saying? Just, just a little. That's all I'm asking. Just get back to a little bit of normalcy. All right. With that said, I hope you guys stay safe out there. Make sure y'all wash your hands, wash your hands, stay safe, stay six feet away. Don't come around me if you coughing or anything like that. Give a brother the elbow and let's uh and let's keep it moving. If you like content like this and more, hey, right here. Subscribe, like, share, comment, hit that bell and that all button for more content like this. If you got something that you want to talk to me about or you want me to talk about, Send it to me in the comments like my subscriber did or hit me up in the Gmail at lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com or you can go over to the Instagram where I will be posting a lot of the, a, a lot of the information pertaining to, pertaining to the YouTube side of things like when I'm going live or anything like that. You can find out over there at Lockout Men on Instagram until then y'all y'all have a blessed one. And on that note, we are gone.